Hi guys, welcome again. Today we'll be making this ear warmer headband on our centro knitting machine with 40 needles and that's because I, want, I wanted it this wide. And then I'm going to be showing you two different things that I made on this headband. So first thing is this border here that I think is really cool and it's quite easy to make. And then I made the drop stitch in the middle as well. But what's more interesting about it is this thing here that I made, that I put in the middle. So I put an elastic band, which makes this elastic. But as well, let me put it on. So the way it works is, and I saw this on TikTok and I thought it was really cool. The way it works is, you tie your hair this way and then you put the headband, the, your hair inside the headband. And actually use like this. So what's cool about this is that uh, I think the original idea was from a new print headband that I saw on AliExpress. They had a hole in the middle and it was used to, I think it's used to run. For people that run, they put they wear the headband because it's made out of neoprene. I had this idea to make knitted. You can make it, so you can make this. I use this kind of winter touch yarn. It's like a silk yarn. And I only used, I think, around 40 grams of this. I think it's a great addition for markets and stalls because it's different. So I wanted to share with you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you like my idea and if you made it because I think I really think it's cool. Anyway, let me know in your comments if you enjoyed making this tutorial and how did you go making it. And so let's get started now and I'm going to explain to you step by step of how I made it. So to start making this ear warmer headband with a ponytail space on the back, we're going to use the waist yarn on our centro 40 needles machine, okay? I'm going to use waist yarn to cast on stitches and just cast all stitches and then I'll be making four rows with the waist yarn okay it's important to use waist yarn so when you when you finish the stitches when you bind off the stitches much easier to see the stitches uh, this way okay So guys, before you do that, make sure you measure your head and I measured mine. I'm going to show here the way you have to measure it. And then because we are going to use for the ponytail space, we're going to use uh, this elastic band. Make sure you measure the elastic band as well. Mine's around two inches. So from your head, uh, measurement remove two inches or five centimeters so then you know what size you have to make for your headband okay so I'm gonna be making 70 76 rows with mine and I did make a test before I measure I made around 80 it was a bit too much okay so I'm making only 75 76 rows, okay? This machine doesn't have a row counter, so I'm gonna count it manually. Now that I have my 76 rows, I'm gonna cut this yarn. And then I'm going to add the waist yarn on my knitting machine again. And then I'm gonna work probably three rows because I don't think I have enough waist yarn, but you can make as many as you 
as you need to or as many as you are in use to use to make and then um, I like to cast them off this way I feel I just feel more secure so I'm gonna make a full row without the yarn and that's because I'm not making many rows so I'm going to put all the stitches in this needle here So once you finish, make sure you wrap around your head and see if this size is good enough. Now to make this drop stitch, I already have already one dropping here. That's when I cast off the stitches and just cut this waist yarn here, really. Just to make it easier, okay? And then just, just open. Make sure you don't open this, the ones right next to it because you only need two, okay? Just open it all the way to the other side. Now, when you reach the last two loops, it's gonna look like that. And then you put a hook through, you grab them both together like this. So after you grab both loops, we're gonna work with two at a time and just put them inside the two loops. Probably the one, the first one is the hardest one. The next two here, it works much better with, um, with a bigger hook, okay? And then the next and this is how it's gonna look like so repeat that all the way to the top and I think this is a much way easier way to grab like this so you can actually see the where you're going and once you reach the top, make sure you secure this, this stitch, okay? You can secure that stitch just by adding a marker there at the end and just stretch to rearrange all the stitches that might have a different tension. Stretch both ways a little bit so that stitch is actually rearranged on the bottom so you can Fix the tension if you have tension problems this way as well. Okay, and we want this work right in the middle of our headband to start binding off the stitches right after this. So I'm going to start binding off this way. And I'm gonna be grabbing all the loops with my hook. Probably right now, and that's why it's really good to have a good set of hooks because, like, you want sometimes you want them bigger, sometimes you want them smaller, depending on what you're doing. So, I'm going to fold in half, making sure that this stitch is in the middle, I'm gonna right in the middle, and then I'm going to grab the loops this way. Grab one, put the second one through the first one, and then just alternating on the sides, then through here, through here, I'm gonna be doing that on both sides all the way to the end, okay? Now this is our last loop and because I had to do uh, use the middle part of it where I had the where I had the tails to do the drop stitch, I'm just going to add and that's why these markers are really useful. I'm gonna add a marker here. So I actually my use I'm gonna use this loop for something else that I have in mind later. 
And now you, all we do is just remove that waste yarn from there. This is what we have right now. And I'm just gonna make the same thing on the other side as well. Now, the, on the next step, I'm gonna be doing this border here that I, I saw on Pinterest made with crochet and I just made a different way. So, it also helps with the width of your uh, ear warmer, so it's a little less wide. Put that yarn through, make a little knot and just hide it after. make a little knot here and then I'll just hide it on the back put through one of the stitches and now make sure you're gonna use always that same stitch along the way so I did that fourth stitch so one two three four with the top one on the fourth one and I'm gonna go along on that same one so I'm going to be skipping two these little V's and always in that same spot there. And just pull it and then it gives that little border to the work and also helps with the stretch so it's a little less stretching we don't want it completely stretching and then skip two v's and in that same stitch you had right there and then you can all you can pull it tighter at the end you can completely skip this step and just go and repeat this the whole way all the way to the other side and then we're gonna make a knot and just finish it off now before you make a knot on this tail here make sure both sides are the same have the same kind of stretchiness <laughs> make sure both sides have the same amount of uh, yarn tail because you can pull it and make it smaller or bigger don't put too, don't pull too much otherwise it will be tied I actually really enjoy this finish here I think it's gonna look nice okay, and this is the front of our headband and now on this last stitch here just gonna make a little knot like this and put the yarn hide the yarn underneath a few stitches and now let's make the elastic so I, I actually chose an elastic that's of a darker color you could probably choose anything because we're gonna be covering it then we'll be covering this elastic like this we're gonna be working single crochets on top of this elastic band this way so you're gonna make you're gonna have your slip knot and then you're gonna put the hook underneath that elastic band and then pull it and make your first stitch make sure it's tied And always going underneath that elastic and pulling the stitch. 
Now make sure you make as many as you need as you need to cover that elastic band. We don't want to see them at the end result. And then as you go, just pull it so it's fully covered. And as well, we want to make as many as possible so it's still stretchy, okay? So just make it very a lot of stitches around it. Now, I think I have enough stitches here. And then when you finish, just a uh, slip knot in that first stitch. And then now we're gonna cut enough, uh, enough long tail to seam it together with our uh, ear warmer. This is gonna be a ponytail ear warmer made on a central knitting machine. I did look for... Um, I got inspired on a TikTok ear band that I saw and it was a crochet one, so I'm making a knitted one for us that love our machines. <laughs> now make sure you have enough stitches here. I had to actually make some more, so make as many as you can. So it's two stretches because I try to first time I seam this uh, it wasn't enough to stretch this way so make as many as you as you need and then I'm going to start right in this corner here and then I'm gonna leave in between them on the side here I'm gonna leave a few stitches so it's, it can still stretch if you want to place a marker straight on the other side you can and you know that you have to probably finish around here so yeah less because we're gonna need to leave a few stitches to the side so we can actually stretch otherwise you won't stretch we need sort of like this space here i'm gonna add another marker here that's where i'm going to start seaming the other side And then place a marker, a few stitches up that way as well. And then this is gonna be open so it stretches. And just make sure you make a knot here as well to secure. And then so you can start seaming it's one stitch to every stitch on the other side. I'm actually using only the bottom loop of the crochet. Before I used both and it looks nicer this way. So I'll be seaming this all the way to here and then I'm gonna cut this yarn and seam the other one on the other side. And then this space here is gonna be enough to stretch when you put your hair through on the back of your head. So this is how the headband looks like. So you're supposed to put your hair through the middle here on the back. And I have a few things to say about it. Okay, so if you're making this border, make sure you don't make it too tight because it's a little tight to put on, on my head even though it feels Actually, I also think this could be a little long, like it could be, go through a few more stitches as well um, and here on the on the elastic right on top of the elastic make sure you make a lot of stitches so it stretches at the end mine is uh, I, I used more stitches on this side than on this one so it's like it's it's all right but it's not perfect as as you know I only make my project my projects once because I have a lot of things that I want to make but I think it's pretty cool 
I'm gonna show you on my head now how it looks like and how it's on the back as well but pretty happy about it think it's a really cool project to sell in the markets as well it's a ponytail headband I don't think many people sell that just yet so leave me a comment let me know if you made yours and if you enjoyed this tutorial I think was really cool actually to make this it's a fast project and it's really good to sell in the market so give me your like and subscribe to my channel for more content about niching machines and crochet projects thank you for watching and I see you next week